The Seahawks take on the Steelers in Pittsburgh. It's a 46 and a half point over under. Steelers are four and a half point home favorites. It seems like a great opportunity for them to bounce back against a secondary that looked uh, really sketchy in week one, even at home. Uh, the Seahawks gave up 48 fantasy points yeah. last week to wide receivers uh, not named A.J. Green. Mm, John and, Ross. You know, John Ross and Tyler Boyd and company in, you know, with Cincinnati. So, look, I think Juju mm. is a must start this week, no doubt about it. I don't think anybody was going to bench him. Big Ben, interestingly enough, I think has a bounce back game in this one. Jason has him at QB nine on the week. Yeah, I agree. He's look. I mean, we've talked about it for years. His home road splits are astronomical. He plays better at home. Fire him up. All right. Do you have any interest in a sneaky Jalen Samuels uh, start this week with James Conner dealing with the illness? Is there any interest there? He had only two rushing attempts and one reception in week one. I think I answered my own question. <laughs> <laughs> you, it, it's all about the illness. I mean, it's one of those things uh, you just monitor it. He should be fine. If Connor is starting, if he's out there, then no, I'm not going to play Samuels. It's interesting. Last year, Big Ben flipped the script on his historical averages, yes. the home road splits. He was actually 346 passing yards on the road last year, 296 at home. That is not what he had done previously, but this is a... Look, it's a new Big Ben, new offense. They're finding their way. So, Russell Wilson, he's our consensus QB 14 on the road against the Steelers. The Steelers got absolutely decimated by the, uh, you know, the New England Patriots last week, giving up 54 fantasy points to the wide receiver position, which was somehow worse than Seattle the week before. I like the over in this game. That's a 46 and a half point right now. Russell Wilson. I mean, you can you can start him. But once again, Rus Russell only threw the ball 20 times, but he, is, he hits on big plays frequently. Tyler, hot, look it, only had two targets last week, which was very bizarre. Luckily, uh, well, unluckily, one of them was basically a drop. The other one, though, was a massive touchdown, so Tyler Lockett was fine for fantasy, and Russell Wilson was also ended, also ended up being fine. But, uh, like, Jason, what's your... Your confidence, because you've we we have been a little opposed on Russell Wilson. You're like, yeah, he's 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 an automatic, and I'm I lean more of the side of it's it's questionable. Yeah, I mean, I I still believe in the talent of Russell Wilson to overcome whatever game flow issues or you know play calling issues exist. I think Russell's going to be fine more often than he's not. He's not always a great play for some weird reason. He gets off to a slow start in every season, finishes on fire every season. That's weird, but it has like four years in a row now. So only 20 pass attempts week one, under 200 yards passing, four rushes, but only for eight yards. Um, there's your slow start for you for Russell Wilson. I'd probably try to avoid him on the road against Pittsburgh here. Okay. Chris Carson, seven targets oh, last goodness. week, six receptions, 35 receiving yards. Rashad Penny had a total of only seven touches in this game. Chris Carson set the earth on fire so far through one week. The narrative of Carson being involved in the passing game came true. Uh, what do we think about this backfield? It's Chris Carson. I'm not playing Rashad Penny until I see otherwise, but Chris Carson was an absolute workhorse. We said Russell Wilson threw the ball 20 times. Seven targets to Chris Carson. Like The offense is... Well, he only had 14 completions, and six of the 14 were Chris Carson. The offense is Chris Carson. That's that's what it's going to be until the foreseeable future. Jason, any thoughts on that you want to add, or do you want to talk about Connor on the other side? Obviously, you're starting Connor if he's healthy. I yep. completely agree with what was said about Carson. Love him. He is the offense. It is important to remember this game was in a torrential downpour, so I think Russell was throwing a little shorter, closer to the line. I don't know. that. I, I still believe that he, he're going to use Carson in the passing game. They obviously were – putting him out there didn't, but didn't stop Andy Dalton from firing downfield no, no are you touching not. any other wide receivers on Pittsburgh outside of Juju this week Dante Moncrief no, had a lot of targets he had one of the worst games I've ever seen a person put on display Big Ben came out and said I have full confidence in him yeah. but drop passes wrong routes bad plays it feels bad I, if you want to play Moncrief in a DFS lineup I think that that's perfectly fine I think 
You can't argue with 10 targets. You can't argue you with can't, John Ross blowing up against them last week either. And you, you can't argue with last week was one of the worst games I've ever seen from a wide receiver. But if, if Moncrief adds three or four receptions to his targets, the Steelers aren't getting boat raced. It's a completely different game. I, but I think... I think that that was probably the worst. He was three he was, for seven on ten targets. Yeah, I would oh, split. Man. I would split some of those DFS lineups between Moncrief and, and Washington. James Washington sure. because you know if you're stacking them with Roethlisberger, we've got a lineup optimizer in our DFS pass this year. You could thumbs up those guys and just have them kind of cycle into your lineups. And uh, I, you know, I think Big Ben has you know a deep bomb touchdown. If he does, it's probably. Washington that gets it over Moncrief. They both have the ability. Right. All right. And Metcalf is worth I, a flex. I, well, I wanted to talk about Metcalf to finish this out. We've okay. are, we're not starting Will Disley on the tight end, and we've talked about Vance McDonald already. You can see the – you can use the start sit tool, see where we have Vance McDonald, seventh most routes run in week one, but not an effective week. I think he was two for 40. But DK Metcalf, maybe we're not talking about him enough. You know, you Lockett came down with the deep ball last week. He was invisible before and after. So Metcalf starting the game. Six targets, uh, three of them were deep passes. Is Metcalf, you know, was he ignored on the waiver show for no reason? He, well, it's not for no reason. He was mostly ignored because his counterpart rookies had absolutely blow up games, and they're going to be the more interesting guys to talk about. But Metcalf, I think he's worth he's worth a flex here. Over the last two years, Russell Wilson's been sacked 98 times. It's the most in the NFL, and the Ugh. Steelers the Steelers have the most sacks in that span. Oh, no. They couldn't get to Brady last week. They're going to be hungry. It's hun- going to be hungry. different. They're going to be hungry. Hey, want to have a cup of coffee with me? Click subscribe. We'll hang out. We'll do it together. Make your team the best.